So this little speech will be about can I? May I? Well, you can and you may. So if you have enough reason, if you have the resourceful approach in acquiring knowledge, in a bit of critical thought, in multiplying intelligence by intelligence, reason by reason, by building yourself up, do you need masters to tell you what to do? Can you do this ritual, this ceremony? Can you learn this? Can you learn that? Can you approach certain things in novel fashions? Well, the definition of a genius is looking at known things from different approaches and aspects and developing new aspects, approaches and things. I often uh, and I encountered people asking me, who taught you? Or, uh, why can you do this? It's forbidden and all that. And I say, fuck all. I have no masters, apart from the spirits and the gods that taught me at a certain point. Prepare yourself with knowledge, with inspiration, with great perceptions. Sia, the hieroglyph in Egypt meaning perception. And I've met so many stuffed up pigs calling themselves masters that I surpassed a long time ago. And as you progress, you leave them behind. And they wonder how it is that he can, how it is that he may, how it is that he is skilled, how it is that he is more knowledgeable. Because you put your work, effort and toll on your own. If you're a responsible, autonomous, free world creature, you do it on your own. Of course, you harness the expertise of others, you exchange ideas, you don't close, uh, close yourself in castle of delusion or ignorance. You learn from everyone. From a cat, from a spirit, from a tree, from anything, from books, from the skies, from the stars, from other people. But the greatest imposter syndrome is that some pig tells you that you can't. Or some jealous vermin asks you, how do you know it? Did you achieve it from someone? It's not your knowledge. You're not authorized to do it. You're a pirate. Fuck out. Tell them to go fuck themselves. Yes, you can. If you're a pirate in the eyes of those pigs, so be it, let them cry and squeal chasing their own tails. You do it. It's your work, your responsibility, your prime magnum opus, your great work, not theirs. They achieve nothing. They are just squealing pigs behind you. Let them squeal. The dog's bark caravan moves onward towards the stars. And at a certain point, as they fell off you, those squealing pigs, the gods embrace you, and the gods say, Ha! Huh? These are pigs! These are pests! But ignore them! You do your business! And as you grow in responsibility, in virtue, in understanding, you look at those fools and think, What did they achieve? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! They're in the deserts, walking blindly, thinking they achieved everything, but they have achieved absolutely nothing. So get rid of this imposter syndrome. Do, do, do. Act, act, act. Perform, perform, perform. Learn. Educate. Act. Move forward. Like a juggernaut. And ignore those naysayers, those jealous piglets. They, they can, you know, they can swim in their own mud. In their own sewers. You do your stuff. And sooner or later you will find people that will respect it. Not in their petty jealousies of no one's. People that will be on par with you. Your friends, your colleagues, your girlfriends, whoever, on the parity level of high intelligence, high perception, high understanding. And leave all those minutest petty people behind. Thank you.